Good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's math class and today we have a new lesson and something else. I want you to get your math book because we are going to use it today. Our lesson for today will be about how to analyze paragraphs. So are you ready to start? Yes! Well done! So stand up everyone, put your hands in the air, clap your hands three times and say it's math class. So let's do it. Stand up first, your hands in the air, clap your hands three times. One, two, three and shout it's math time! Great everyone! Now let's start with our daily routine. I need someone to help me to read the day and date. Who will help me today to read the day and date? Me! Okay, so let's get started. The day is Sunday and the date is April 26, 2020. Excellent! So everyone look at this side and tell me what can you see? A bar graph. A paragraph. So today we are going to talk about how to analyze bar graph. In the previous lesson, we have learned how to make paragraphs. Right, everyone? Yes. And today we're going to learn how to analyze paragraphs. So are you ready to start the lesson? Yes. Let's go ahead. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to draw conclusions and answer questions based on paragraphs. So here we go everyone, mental math time, please think carefully and slowly. The question is, which difference is less than 25? So let me explain to you what you are going to do. Listen carefully. First of all, you are going to find the difference and difference means we are going to subtract. So 50 minus 10, take your time. What is the answer everyone? 40. 40. You can do it this way everyone, you can line the numbers carefully. Okay. So 0 minus 0 equal 0 and 5 minus 1 equal 4. You can do it this way. And now let's go to the next one. 40 minus 20? 20. 20. Well done. And 60 minus 30? 30. 30. Well done. So everyone, tell me now which difference is less than 25? Or which number here is less than 25? 20. 20. So this is the correct answer. Thank you everyone. So everyone, let's review what we have learned before. You can use your background knowledge always try to store the information in your mind and then when you need them you can go back and get them what do you think about this good right so let's read what's written here i need your help who will help me to read me let's read it together a bar graph uses bars to show data to make a bar graph, color one box for each vote. Bar graphs can look different. So let me explain to you what's written over here and I want you to listen carefully to what I am going to say. First of all, I want you to look at the two bar graphs. As you can see, we have two. And tell me what is the difference between two of them. One, one goes sideways and and, up, and the other one goes up and down 
Okay, so have you noticed the difference between two of them? Yes. Okay, well done. And in the paragraph, or let me say in the tally chart, we use usually tally mark to show data, right, everyone? In the paragraph, or sorry, in the picture graph, we use pictures pictures to show data but in the paragraph we use bars we call these everyone bars to show data so remember everyone to make a bar graph color one box for each vote color one box for each vote, vote. so let's go here to the tally chart what does the tally chart show Favorite breakfast food. Well done. Favorite breakfast food. And how many people voted for the favorite breakfast food? So let's add here these numbers or the total to find how many people voted. So what is the total? So everyone, 4 plus 5 equal 9. 9. And 9 plus 2 equal 11. 11. So, everyone, 11 people voted for their favorite breakfast food. So, as you can see, here is the toast, cereal, and eggs. So, how many people voted for toast? Four people. And for cereal? Five people. And for eggs? Two people. Well done. So everyone, if we want to transfer the data from the tally chart to the paragraph, we are going to color one box. One box to show one vote. For example, as you can see here, four people voted for toast. So here we are going to color four bars. Well done. And for the cereal? Five. So we're going to color five bars. And for the eggs? Two. Well done, and we colored here two bars. Well done. And let's go over here. We're going to also do the same. So, how many people voted for toast? Four. So, we can see, as, we, as you can see here, one, two, three, four, and for cereal? Five. So, one, two, three, four, five, and for eggs? Two. Two. Well done, everyone. So, here... Two of them are the same. Okay, everyone, we use them to show the data. But as I said to you so far, this is... Yeah, who can remind me? This is sideways. And the other one is... Up and down, straight. Well done. So here we go, everyone. Copy the link below in your browser and watch the introduction video about... Analyze bar graphs. After watching the video, let's read the problem of the day. Listen carefully. So everyone, problem of the day. As you can see over here, there is a tally chart in the bar graph. There is a tally chart over here and also a bar graph. So Let's say, let's change the name here and say, uh, Moza surveyed mm, her class about their favorite ice cream flavors. Then she made a bar graph to show the data. So, what does the bar graph show? Favorite ice cream flavors. Well done. So, what are the flavors? Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and mint. Great. Okay, so how many people voted for chocolate? Seven. Seven, and as you can see here, we colored seven bars. Well done. And how many people voted for vanilla? Three. Three, and as you can see here, where's the vanilla? Okay, three. And for strawberry? Five. Five. So as you can see, there are? 
five bars that are colored. Well done. And for men? Six. So as you can see, six bars are colored. Well done. So how many people did Moza survey? Twenty-one. Twenty-one people. Or let's say classmates. Now let's go to question number one and two. The flavor with the least votes is, as you can see, va vanilla. vanilla. Well done. And chocolate received two more votes than strawberry. So everyone, let's go back to this question. Uh, chocolate received two more votes than strawberry. And how can we know that? Chocolate received two more votes than strawberry. I'm going to give you some time to think, everyone. Look over here. Here's the chocolate. And here's the strawberry. So how can we know that the difference is two? Because when, when we compare between chocolate and strawberry, chocolate has two more Colored. bars colored than strawberry well then has two colored boxes or bars than strawberry well done excellent so question number three what two flavors did a total of 11 students vote for so what two flavors did a total of 11 students vote for to find this information we need to go back to the paragraph to analyze the paragraph and find out the answer. So everyone, let's look carefully at the paragraph and try to examine the data to find the answer. So first of all, we're gonna see the numbers and which numbers can we add? To, can we add them together? And the total will be 11. So let's start from the chocolate. Here, how many people voted for? Chocolate? chocolate seven seven and for vanilla three and for strawberry five and for mint six so which numbers everyone if i add them together the total will be 11 i'm gonna give you some time to think so what are they strawberry and mint well done so 5 plus 6 equal 11. Thank you everyone. So it's task time and as you can see here we have two things to do. So you can choose task number one or task number two. And if you want to complete two of them, it would be great. Okay, everyone, here we go. Task number one. And I want you to get your math book and to open page. We can read the number. 555. Well, then open the page and let's get started everyone please don't forget to write the day and date you need to write the day and date before you start so let's read the question and i need your help who will help me to read the question everyone me okay let's read it together survey 10 people ask them which dinner is the healthiest make a bar graph write how many votes each dinner got so everyone, you can ask your family if you want to make this survey. We need to ask 10 people, okay? We need to ask 10 people. So let's go to the paragraph. So let me say something about survey. Survey is to ask the people the same question. Is to ask the people the same question. So we're going to ask them about the healthiest dinner and they will choose which one do they prefer. 
So as you can see, we have here chicken and broccoli, pizza, spaghetti, cookies, sorry, milk and cookies. Well done. So as I said to you, we're going to ask 10 people the same question, which is what is which dinner is the healthiest and we are going to give them these options and they need to choose and after that we will decide which dinner is the healthiest. favorite yeah and the favorite for them and which one is the least Fa favorite or least voted so everyone you can go and ask your dad your mom your sisters your brothers the same question and also your cousins so let's say that your dad your mom and your sister your little sister chose chicken and broccoli well done and your brothers three of them or chose let's say pizza one two three and four of your cousins chose spaghetti one two three four and no one chose milk and cookie so let's go and answer the questions down so how many people voted for chicken and broccoli three well done and how many people voted for pizza three and how many people voted for spaghetti four and for milk and cookies zero well done so everyone you can do your own survey you can ask your family members and make your paragraph and then analyze it the way you want so task number two I want you to turn the page and go to page who can read 500, 557 well done so as you can see here there is a bar graph right and the bar graph shows hair color hair color so let's analyze the bar graph and examine the data carefully examine the data look at the numbers look at the bars how many people voted and you know we always need to answer many questions when we want to analyze the bar graph so everyone before answering these questions let's look um, at the bar graph and we try together to examine the data as we used to do before so let's count everyone how many people um, have brown hair five excellent so we're gonna write five here so let me write and how many people have black hair three and blonde hair four four and red hair three well done as you can see here one two three four five one two three one two three four one two three so everyone remember each colored box stands for one vote so let's go to the first question what color hair do five students have yeah brown brown because as you can see here five students have brown hair so let's write well done so let's go to question number two what color hair do four students have blonde blonde hair blonde hair so And question number six what two hair colors do the same number of students have the same number as you can see here 
one, two, three for the red, and one, two, three for the black. So what we're going to write here, black and, black and red. red. black and red okay and how many students were surveyed so as I said to you how many students were surveyed we're gonna look for the total so we're gonna add them together so 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3. So what do you think if we put 6 plus 6 together? So 6 plus 6 equal 12. So how many students were surveyed? We're going to look for the answer. What we're going to do is to add these numbers together. 5 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3. So let's say 3 plus 3 equal 6. Well done. And 4 plus 5 equal 9. 9. So 6 plus 9. I'm going to give you some time to think. Fifteen. Well done. So the answer is 15. Great. So the answer is 15. 15. Now, how would this graph change if 20 students took the survey what we are going to do is to add more rows everyone to add more rows so use the bar graph to answer the questions which pet do most students have okay so before answering the question let's go and check what does the bar graph show pets pets so the bar graph is talking about pets and as you can see there are dogs, cats, fish and birds. Okay everyone. So which pet do most students have? So if you look at So use the bar graph to answer the questions. First of all we're going to look at the bar graph to see what does the bar graph show pets well done and what are the pets here the pets that you can see dog cat fish bird so let's answer the questions now which pet do most students have look at the bar graph and tell me everyone dog dog well done because here five students voted for dog so the answer here is dog dog question number 10 which two pets do the fewest students have so look at the bar graph which two pets do the fewest students have cat cat and bird bird so here as you can see three and three i mean three students voted for cat and three students voted for bird and how many students have cats and birds how many students have cats and birds three so no we're gonna add the numbers together so here we have three people or students voted for cat and three students voted for bird so what is the total everyone oh, sorry three okay let's erase it so three Students voted for cat and three students voted for bird. Excellent. So what is the answer? It's a double fact, everyone. The answer is 
six. Well done. So, I'm going to write the answer here again. Um, where is my box? So, which two pets do the fewest students have? Cat and bird. Okay, everyone, so let's move to our closure. Click on the following link to play the game about analyze paragraph. Enjoy the game. And finally, everyone, don't forget to upload your work and your portfolio in Class Dojo. Thank you and have a nice day.